In the establishing shot, you see three girls sitting on three different couches, which sort of represents the way that they feel toward each other. Despondent. I also like that there's more couches and that they're actually uh, chosen, like they've chosen, to, to chosen sit, their spot. To yeah. sit away from each other, even though there's three chairs that they could have sat together. Which is interesting because that was really a happy accident. You know, we were trying to sort of set the stage and this is sort of what happened and there's actually so much more to it now that we have this sort of unconventionalized dancing space. But what I really want to focus on is the fact that the music right here actually I think definitely a huge shout out to our music moguls just yeah. because, you know, we really didn't communicate with them that much and they really captured the separation between these girls by having our all the strings re for each progressive dancer be Rise in a lower octave. octave. Or a low octave. I also really like the camera movement in these shots, really following and tracking the dancers. Because, you know, a lot of uh, dances are shot with like the camera just in one place, but this is actually following the dancers' movement, getting the fluidity of their uh, movement. It brings the audience into it, I think. Yeah. Helps involve them in the dancing sequence. And in this scene, the unsteady camera, which might have been a happy accident, sort of, you know, may hint at the instability of their relationship. They're trying to come together in the second scene, but can they? And it creates tension that's only resolved by their reconciliation in the end. It's also the movement adds to it, you know. I mean, I still think in a lot of these shots, as we see this increased stability, it also signifies their increased stability in their relationship, but also, like, it, it distances the audience to a greater extent. I was thinking that the floor if you look at it closely in the first room, it's actually a lot more like rough and raw, like a coincidentally. And then the second room is the floor is much more clear and crisp. Polished, smooth. Yeah. And also in the last shot, we could see the three chairs in the background, you know, that empty place that they all could have joined each other in, which is really interesting. Yeah. Shows they're getting past um, past differences. Yeah. And it ends on that light kind of symbolizes hope, and it's kind of a beautiful image. Forgiveness. Very Dwarf Wishman of them.